One night, Max fell asleep at his desk while preparing for a maths test and had a really weird dream. In his dream, Max was in his backyard at night, explaining a maths problem to a cow and a giraffe. And if that wasn't strange enough, suddenly the animals disappeared. A small spaceship flew past and landed nearby, and a friendly alien came out. I come in peace, Earthling Max, the creature said. My name is Mattens, and I love patterns. I believe you have a maths test tomorrow. I would love to help. That's great, but you can just call me Max, he replied. Then all of a sudden, the two of them were in a sunny desert. It's a bit warm here, which makes my skin go green like a Martian, said Mattens. But the light is better. Anyway, I'm going to ask you a few questions to see how much you know about patterns. Did I tell you patterns are my favourite subject? Okay, first question. Write down the number pattern which starts with five and goes up by fours. Max found that he had paper and a pencil in his hands, so after a little bit of thought, he wrote down the number pattern five, nine, thirteen, seventeen, twenty-one. That is correct, Max. All you have to do is keep adding four to every number. So, next question. Describe the following number pattern and tell me the missing number. And Mattens wrote on the paper 3, 8, 13, blank, 23, 28. Max looked at the numbers carefully and knew that 8 minus 3 equals 5, and 13 minus 8 also equals 5, so he could see that the pattern was to start at the number 3 and go up by 5s. He told Mattens this and added, and the missing number is 18, because 13 plus 5 equals 18. You are a maths genius, Max. Correct again, said the excited alien. Okay, my last question is in two parts, because pears are my favourite earth food. Work out the missing number in each of these two number sentences. In other words, what is the value of the box? Then he wrote, 7 plus box equals 15 and 19 minus box equals 10. Max looked at the first number sequence and told the alien what he was thinking. I know that 15 minus 7 equals 8, so therefore 7 plus 8 must equal 15, so the value of the box in the first number sentence must be 8. Then Max looked at the second number sentence. I know that 10 plus 9 equals 19, so therefore 19 minus 9 equals 10, so the value of the box this time must be 9. That is brilliant, Max. 
you can see that addition and subtraction are related. We can often do a subtraction to solve an addition and do an addition to solve a subtraction. Aren't maths patterns just so fascinating? I'm fit to burst. And suddenly, Max woke up at his desk to a loud sound and Min laughing after having just burst a balloon right behind him. What a weird dream. Now you can watch this video again to practice number patterns or try the quiz and look at the chart that comes with this video.